challenge. This week we've been sent to Teddington in Middlesex, southwest of London, and all we've been told is to come to this school, the Collis Primary School. You're coming, Mark. And the other thing is, we've got to look for the nature class. So let's go. Look. Ah, the nature class. This is obviously the space class. at 7pm on Friday, Class P of the College School will accept the motor vessel Gerger on behalf of the people of London. The boat will give all Londoners a chance to learn about their river. At the moment, the Gerger is nothing but an old hulk. Make her ship shape, fit her out, change her name and ensure the ceremony goes with a bang. And is that all? Actually, go out in it and yes, do a bit of yeah. nature and field yeah. trip work. Yeah. For disabled people as, as well. well as able people, so they can get to do it as well. Oh, you're actually designing our boat. Yes. Oh gosh. So you're really you're, we're going to go from your designs, are we? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Five science labs. We've got an open air lounge. We've got a loo, disabled changing rooms, underwater viewing, so you can see all the marine life. Mm. That's a very good idea. Underwater viewing rooms. There we are, you see. So anyone else got anything really good for the environment? A science and nature room. And everyone's got lots of wonderful things for people who might be in wheelchairs. Right. The Richmond Boat Project. Miranda, Miranda. Jaggers. She might be able to Can help I you. quickly make a phone call? I'm here. Right. Cool. Right. <laughs> Sorry about this. You can carry on with your class in a minute. <laughs> Hello, is Miranda Jaggers there? Yes, speaking. Miranda, is Annika Rice here? Hello. And I think you're responsible for sending us in a challenge. Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> Could you enlighten us? I'm at the moment at the college school in Teddington, and all the children here um, seem to be terribly involved in this, and I'm the only one that doesn't know what on earth's going on at the moment. Ah, well, the, the boot project has a 90-foot Dutch barge, yeah. which needs to be fitted out. And w where is this barge? It's at Tuff Boatyard in Teddington. <laughs> I don't believe it. When they say old hulk, they mean old hulk. Look at that. It is a complete shell. 
Oh, it's very dirty. Wow. I mean, we're talking definite old hulk. Look, it's got absolutely nothing in it. It's, a, it's just an iron shell. Make her ship shape, fit her out, change her name and ensure the ceremony goes with a bang. And get, this boat will give all Londoners a chance to learn about their river. I mean, there's just nothing here. Did you like spiders, Martin? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Hello? It's a disembodied voice from somewhere. Hi! Hello. You're not Miranda? Yes. Hooray! Hi, Miranda. Hello. Nice to see you. Hello. Who's this tall, handsome stranger? This is Simon. Simon been... Harris. He's Simon. been helping me sort things out on the boat. Brilliant. And we now need your help. Mm. Come aboard. <laughs> this is going to be the most amazing okay. project. Let me take your bag. It's a bit lethal, actually, isn't it? Yep. You're right. Yes, that's fine. So, Miranda, tell, how did you get involved? What is this project all about? The boat project's about fitting out a 90-foot Dutch barge so that she can be used by school children and disabled people and the elderly and so that people can have access to the river and find out about the, the Thames and its environment. Terrific. And sorry, Simon, I'm a bit confused now. How, how do you fit into all this? Well, I've worked, I've converted a number of barges before. Uh, and Miranda, I've been helping Miranda to, to get the project together. So has it actually started the, the project? Have you actually done something on the boat that I've missed? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. There's a small amount being done, but there's an awful long way to go. Yeah. Uh, and time's very tight. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So we need a very large, very specialised workforce. Yes, we do. Where do they come from, Simon? <laughs> <laughs> so I was expecting to talk first this evening to Professor Geoffrey Barrow of Edinburgh University, and we shall be speaking to him very shortly. I'm told, though, that Annika Rice is on the, on the phone. Annika, good evening. John, good evening to you. Can not, I just say thank not, you? Not the Annika Rice, is it? <laughs> we're, we're doing one of our challenges, John, and I'm on the river at Teddington, and I'm standing on a steel shell of a boat. It's, uh, it's an old Dutch barge about 95 feet long. It is a complete wreck. See, any way to describe it and we've got a lovely challenge what, and what it is it's to make it into a kind of ecology barge and the idea it's it's to provide people of, of all disabilities able-bodied people disabled people um, with access to the river so it can be used for educational recreational and, and social business. Annika, where do I come into all this? Well, John, I wondered, because I know you get through to an awful lot of people um, at this time of day, and what we're after is men and materials. <laughs> Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, who's this? Cleghorn wearing pumps at Baldock in Hertfordshire. How fantastic. Hello. Hello, could speak Annika, please? Speaking. Hello. Hello. Who's that? It's Tony <laughs> Robinson from Lake Marine Paints in Gosport. Yeah, Gosport. Who's this? It's Annika. Oh, hello. I didn't know you were. Gosh, you sounded so friendly. I thought we must have gone to school together or something. <laughs> <laughs> Are you my best friend? I'm not, I'm not married to you, am I? Right? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I should be so lucky. What do you do in Gosport? We, we are manufacturers of marine paint, and I heard your um, thing on the radio earlier on. Paint. Paint. And uh, that's right, we make paint for boats. My name is Roger Escort. Yeah. Uh, from a company called Crusaver. Right. Now, we manufacture life jackets and buoyancy aids. You might be needing a lift for wheelchairs. We've got, yes, we do need your lift. I mean, it is filthy. What would it need? If we're careful. We need to pressure wash the, the outside, the steel. Yeah, maybe there's a scout group or a... The scouts would be fine if you can marshal their resources. 
Hello, now, I don't know if I've got the right number. Is that a number for the East Sheen Venture Scouts? Yes, that's right. I'm one of the Venture Scouts. We need some tough helpers to come and um, clean up a bit before we can get any painting work done. Right. And we, we thought of you. It's now seven o'clock and uh, calls have been coming in all afternoon. We've literally got hundreds. Thank you so much. Chris Isherwood, for example, from Microwave Products has offered us a commercial microwave oven. David Rowditch, he's got a fire extinguisher we could have. A chap called Mike Rhodes rang in. He's got a whole closed circuit security system we could have if we wanted it. And a girl called Katie Zimmer, um, she's got equipment generally for the disabled. A chap called David Martin, he rang, um, offering us any kind of expertise we needed about boat restoration. I'm just trying to get through some of these people now. John the Brush Ashbolt, he's a sign writer. This chap's engaged. Try again. We've been offered play equipment. It is just amazing. Hi! The Venture Hello. Scouts. Yes. Right. Which one's Belinda? Me. I'm Belinda. Hi, thank you Hi. so much for coming. Did you manage to rustle up any more? Yes, we did. There's a couple more on the way. Three, three, four more on three. the way. It's a bit sad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> They're doing their homework. Yeah. yeah. So we've got this deck. If you think this looks bad, you should see below, is all I can say. Let's go for it. <laughs> Is that John the Brush Ashbolt? Yes. What happened there just now? What do you mean, what happened? Did you ring me just now? Yeah, I couldn't get through. Oh, you silly. I picked the phone up and nothing. Oh, John, I'm sorry. Who we must... It's Annika Rice here. Oh, hello, Annika. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm beautiful. And I hear your nickname's John the Brush. That's me, yeah. yeah. Bit of a sign writer in your spare time. Mm, bit of a sign writer, cheeky devil. <laughs> yeah, of course I am, yeah. I heard you, you fling the bob. Yeah. On the John Dunn. And, yeah. um, <laughs> I thought myself, well, you thing. Were you on the John Dunn when you heard this? Were you? No. Oh, well, I like to hear that. Oh, you're cracking up, John. So, so well, what? Uh, well, I'm a sign writer, and yeah. I thought, well, eventually you've got to get a name on the damn thing, haven't you? That's right. No, exactly. That's a very important part of the challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a hope, John. No, but I didn't think so, because I was thinking, um, what I know of it, you can have hundreds of blokes all climbing over all each other. Yeah. And it oh, can be a pain, isn't it? Oh, it's going to be wonderful if it's like that, John. Oh, no. Can't wait. Oh, the old devil. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, John, seriously, though, yeah. we would love you to come and help us out with a, a, a new sign for our boat. Mm. Do you well, think... the thing is, um, what I would suggest, I mean, I don't want to run your show or nothing, but eventually you're going to have the name on the two sides of the bow, aren't you? Yeah. Right? And on the stern. Yep. You can get some of your volunteer places. This is going to take a good couple of hours, but it's got to be done tonight because by the time the workers arrive tomorrow morning to start the conversion, this place has got to be spotless. Well, the area where the name's got to go, right. it will be off by Friday and dry, and I can do my bit. And you could just come down like the Queen That's and it. just do your bit. Yeah, you know, as long as you get a fanfare of trumpets and all the <laughs> bunting and balloons and bunting all that. Bunting balloons and red carpet yeah, for you to do your little bit with the, your brush. All the biz, yeah, all the biz. OK, John, I, how can we refuse an offer like that? What I'm saying to you is, and I'm, I'm not trying to run the show, but you're looking at a rusty old thing there, are you? <laughs> That's no way to describe my well, crew. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yes. Your, your body works a bit tatty. <laughs> well, what I'm getting at is that you're late. Good morning. Well, we now have a beautifully clean boat. It's a beautiful morning as well. Lovely, tranquil riverside setting. Little do you know that this is probably just the calm before the storm because last night the phones were still ringing until late at night. We have a list as long as my arm of things that have been offered for us from all over the countryside. We're so grateful. Our workforce have started to arrive, so let battle commence. <laughs> Oh, 
good to kiss first thing in the morning. Now you're Steve. That's right, yeah. Thank you so much for coming along. Great, no problem. And you brought some, yeah. some of some your mates. Guys, yeah, we can... Hi. Uh... What do you reckon about the project? Oh, we can do it easy. They always say that. They <laughs> always say this. How nice to see you. I spoke to you on the phone. Thank, Both you. Thank, Thank you very much for saying you can come along. Yeah, Where have you come from? Only Leyland. Oh, late. Yes, yeah. you, were, you weren't too far. No. But it's so good of you. Yes. But like, this should be a, a great atmosphere. Oh, yes, basically, the bottom line is everyone here, I suppose, is someone who likes right. messing about on boats. That's so it, yes. We should have a good day. We should, I think. yes. All right, Darren, you don't want a scaffold. You can walk them. <laughs> It's my mum. Sorry, we're, mum we're just brought in. We're, we, we come from Kenya. We don't live here, you see. We just heard it on the radio last night. Oh, you're so, so good there. You're not going to stay? We can't stay today and tomorrow. We're all tied up. We can stay tomorrow night and we can stay all day Friday if you need it. Oh, right. Can't, you can't... Um, don't sew, do you? We're looking for some, We need to make some curtains. I'm never very good at needlework uh, at school. A machine no. and whatnot I haven't got here. I'm sorry, no. I really haven't. No. I've got loads in Kenya, no problem, but I can't really nip back there. Thought, really. Listen, thank you very much for bringing Stuart along. Um, I'm just starting to think about all the other things we'll need, like the kitchen right. and the actual saloon area. And the soft furnishings. Right. We need a gas supply for the gas for a gas cooker. Right. Um, ha running a, an electric cooker isn't terribly satisfactory on a boat. Um, so somehow we need to get gas, and I think we need to start looking for for hardware for for the galley. I and think we just go for the top and see what we can get. <laughs> go, okay. go all out for everything. Hello. I'm told to interrupt. I've found a sewing machine. I can do some sewing for you if you want to. Oh, aren't you oh, wonderful? wonderful. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Beautiful kitchens. There we go. Um, I wonder if you could help us. Nice to see. Oh, there's a whole gang of you up there. Hello. <laughs> it's all solid oak as well, so yeah. it's not, um, you know, anything that's artificial. It's going to fit in. Actually, Annika, we can... I've just been on the telephone to Winchmore. We can do that style of door, but not in that colour. Oh. But we can do it in the natural oak colour. Oh, let's have a look at that one. Right. We got really into that other one, right? Well, it's no, just the, oh, this the, the time fine. requirement, really. We've got yeah. the express delivery, but we do express on this one. We'll lay it out on that one as best we can. Um, how about a sink and taps? We need a sink, yes. We need a sink and yes. taps as well. Yes. Right. So we might have a kitchen. Now, that chap was saying there's a gas showroom in Twickenham. That's what we're looking for now. Gas. Gas. Can you see that, Mark? And what we wondered is any way you could help us out with a very small cooker. We're not asking too much. Oh, but with yes. the, preferably with a sort of. Yeah. I've got to phone somebody, Bruce. Bruce somebody. Is it for a charity? It's well. It's for a. It's for a challenge. A challenge. Yeah, yeah. it is. But it, it, well, it is a charitable cooker. project. Sorry? How small the cooker? Well, it's to go on a boat, so I'm How not actually... This, this sort? <laughs> um, I've been told it should have a double oven. Double For a boat? Oven. Yeah, because it's going to be used by um, groups of people um, who might go on quite long boat trips. Is Mr Romney there? <laughs> Savro at Twickenham. Hello, Bruce. Yeah. Hi, 
I've got a television camera here and Annika Rice. some material ah. for, for a barge. It's just um, some dark fabric we to, have to make like this barge. Might have something in BHS. BHS. Really, may in may BHS? Well have yes. Are you from BHS? Yes, yes. we are. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be here. <laughs> <laughs> What's your job there? <laughs> well, we need loads of things for the actual classroom, like uh, crayons and books. Plates, anything like that that can go on the, on the boat. Chris theory. <laughs> I see you, I thought they were winding me up. <laughs> you're you're going to wish they were winding you up. Yes. A minute. You can blame this man. He accosted right. us in dental. Sign and just thought, help yourself. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Jot them, lads, right. you know, like kids' line. Just down the corner. Okay. Here. And then pens are in the other room there on the table. We'll come back and see you in a minute. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Then. Oh, Mark, they've got some good furniture in here. Let's see if they can help. Upstairs and see you. you might be able to help us out with some folding chairs. Problem. It's our first crisis of the day. We've lost our insulation. This is the stuff we need to put down before the, the timber can be put on properly. We've raided uh, Tuff's boatyard here and got a whole supply that they have in stock. But the lorry load that was due to arrive here from Southampton four hours ago now has just gone missing. So there's nothing we can do. Hi. 
Hi, do you have by any chance any 75 millimeter rock wool? Yes, hello. Uh, we were wondering if you had rock wool. Rock wool is what we're after. Rock wool. And we wondered if you by any chance had any in stock. And we just wondered if there was any way in a million years you could help us out. We've got a warehouse full of it. Has anyone ever told you you're a complete star? <laughs> not this afternoon, I bet, anyway. No, I think you're probably the first, and you'll probably be the only. Oh, I'm sure not. Listen, thank you so much. No problem at all. Um, we'll just await your arrival with bated breath. Okay. Yeah. I mean, at least I suppose you can get on with this. Everyone else is stuck to the insulation. Yeah. What should you be doing today normally? What's your normal job? Uh, managing a project. Really? Electronics, yes. What What would you normally be doing today if you weren't doing this? Playing with my own boat. Playing with your own boat. Playing with your own boat. Can you have a look at it? It's all boxed up. It's all boxed up. Could you? It's We've also got one other thing apart from two fridges. It's a board. When you do ports, you launch them. So the components of Electrolux, a bottle of champagne you can break over the bow. Meanwhile, an update on the appeal. Uh, we've got some loose. That's very good news. Sony have offered us a computer and some video equipment. Um, this is a rather nice one. The Inland Waterways Association rang, and they can supply us with books suitable for age 5 to 70, they say, on watery subjects and some colouring books, things like that. And John Groom Association, who specialise in equipment for the disabled, they can help out, they said, in any way we want them to. Our insulation has arrived! <laughs> the hero of the hour! Hi! <laughs> Well, our crisis has now been resolved, but we've got a lot of time to make up, several hours, in fact. The good news, though, is that the Venture Scouts are back to help us this evening. It's going to be a long, late night. The weather forecast for this morning is awful. It's just beginning to drizzle. Let's go down below where at least it's warm and cosy. Have you had any sleep at all? About three hours. Get in there. You're a bit glazed on the yeah. eyes. One of the things that I've got to explain to Simon when I see him this morning is that I was fiddling around in the dinghy by the rudder last night, and the rudder is supposed to have a pin on the bottom of it in a socket so that it can do yeah. that and I've noticed that as the boat's dried out the rudder's obviously been lift, lifted up and that pin is no longer in the socket so were we to steer the boat without putting that right the rudder may well jam. Today I've got to start thinking about that ceremony tomorrow evening at seven o'clock when we've got to actually sail the barge up to Richmond Bridge. We thought we'd go to Richmond Plaza and actually officially give the boat over to College School and the children that will be using it in the future. Um, looking at the challenge, of course, it says ensure the ceremony goes with a bang, so... Hello, Phoenix Farmer. Oh, hello there. Is Ian Craig there? Ian, we wondered whether we could possibly talk to you about a bit of a rush job for some fireworks on Friday evening. We... You're joking. No. <laughs> Where are you actually based? In Kent somewhere? Yes. Oh, dear. Near Dartford. Not very handy, is it? But I, find, do, where... that, I find that M25 is very useful when you're wanting to transport fireworks around the country. Yeah. Is that the Port of London Authority? We're after some permissions. Um, we're doing a challenge and we need to set off the challenge at the end of the day with a fantastic fireworks display. 
at Richmond Bridge. And uh, I remember from the last time we did a firework display up at Tower Bridge that we had to get all sorts of permissions from you. And these are safety requirements, aren't That's they? That's right, yeah. Right. They have a launch either side. I also have to have an officer up there. Fine. That's wonderful. <laughs> OK. But there's a hole in the bottom of the, there should be a the hole rudder shaft, the isn't there? Yes. But there's also a hole in the bottom of the rudder shaft, so yes, I would imagine is. the pin that was there, whether it was welded in or not, has been knocked out somehow. What's the uh, solution? I don't know. To make some sort of pin that rests between the two. We've got a problem with the rudder. It's Mr. Bennett again! <laughs> Always lurking at the tea That's end. right. I wonder whether there was a hole and, uh... Beautiful. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. Yes, we do. Um, we were involved with a challenge up at Teddington. Oh, a ship's bell. Now, that, oh, we were right. talking about that yesterday. You look and you can get it engraved. That's right. We engrave it here. We can do all that for you. Oh, yes, please. Yes. Yeah. Well, it, again, that? it would be interesting for children, one like that. Just a couple of miles from our site in Teddington is the Royal Military School of Music. I think this is it here, actually imposing looking building with a flag flying so we thought since we're in the area we'd just pop in and see if they could help us out with our band for tomorrow's ceremony hi can i just come in we just check your vehicle over please? yes please thank you thank you very much indeed go. consider it done everything will be fine you're wonderful all of thank you, you. you're thank not you so bad much. yourself <laughs> bye bye You wouldn't believe what's going on down here. Woo! Thank you! They asked what me did you yesterday. say? What did you suggest? I said something. You've done the work, though. Can I show you my it? Right, thank you. In the bottom. Yeah. Uh, that transformation of paintworks looking really good now. They're still two to three hours behind time below in the interior. That was because of the original insulation problem yesterday. We've also got some guys at the moment trying to fix the rudder to make it seaworthy for tomorrow. And talking of tomorrow, there's still some preparations to make for that end ceremony. We've also got to name that barge. And you can hand do the slope. Just a quick word to say thanks so much for everything you've done today because we've really caught up time after our slight mini crisis yesterday. If you want to grab a cup of tea, I also wanted to ask you if you'd had a chance to think of a name for the barge because we've got to change the name. Um, so has anyone had any ideas at all? No, I knew you'd say that. Can you, can you take that, the tray, and maybe... Come on. Have a go at Richmond Discovery. Richmond Discovery. OK. Any ideas? The Venture. The Venture. Well, that's quite nice, because I thought adventurer, because the Venture Scouts have been so involved. Let those creative juices come to the fore. <laughs> <laughs> Ecology Venture. Ecology Venture. No, Ecology venture. no Eco Venture. Eco Venture. Challenge. Island. New Horizons. What do you think, team? Venturer? Richmond Venture or Thames Venture? I know you'd just arrived. You literally just yes. got them. Oh, these are them. This is what you'll be working with. Um, and we thought if you could just cut them in two. Yes. So each curtain will be two windows. Good. How's it going? Are you happy? 
Yes, it's very tiring. Huh? <laughs> I'm done. It's going to be a very long night again tonight. It's amazing how you can keep going. Um, 11 and a half hours since I arrived today. And you just keep on going because of the things to do. And you have to. Another very long night. Hopefully we'll be able to get the kitchen finished. There's an awful lot of paint work and pipe work and welding still to be done. You never know, the mast might go up tonight. First thing tomorrow, at the first low tide, we've got to sort the rudder out. And then there's a part I really enjoy, all the fitting out of the interiors. That's all the carpets to be laid, the curtains to go up, the microwave, the computer, all the final bits and pieces to go in. We're slightly behind time, but we are catching up. Are you enjoying it? It's yeah, great fun. Certainly, certainly a challenge. Have you ever done anything in such a concentrated period of time? Uh, I've had so. times on exhibitions and everything, but nothing like this. This is hard. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> It will all be worth it in the end when you see that's that right. boat yeah. finished. That's right. Have you ever worked on a job that's been quite so concentrated? I've never seen so many people working together. You know, everybody helps each other as well. Really good. I think there's people here doing jobs that they've never done before. Yeah, that's right. First curtains are now up. It's all happening down here, and it was all happening throughout the night last night. Stephen Carl got no sleep at all putting in the kitchen, which now looks absolutely incredible. There's still a lot of plumbing, electrical work to do. There's painting going on, even as we speak, on the deck. We've got to get everything cleared up and finished, everything placed inside the boat by 5 o'clock this afternoon to give us a chance to get up to Richmond Bridge in time for the opening ceremony. Tell you what, though, Johnny the Brush is about to arrive. Let's go. Who needs a firework display? It can't be, is it? Might it, it be? John the Brush! Long time. <laughs> How are you? John, nice. Now, listen, can I, shall I come to you or can you come to me? Uh, whatever suits you. What do you reckon? Well, it's a bit of a, isn't it? It's a bit of a... I expect to see hundreds of people all climbing all over each other like, you know, it ain't too bad, is it? Well, we have been climbing all over each other for the last yeah, two days. How am I supposed to do the bells? That's up to you, John. Well, Someone of your calibre, John the Brush, well, we just... You're well, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you see, what I could do is, um... Yeah, you will have to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I just hang on to your ankles and if you can paint upside down, we're laughing, aren't we? All right. OK. John, thank you so that's, much once again for right. coming and lending a hand. That's all right. And we'll leave you to it. Leave me to Let it. the experts get on with it. Um, excuse me. Just slight, slightly worried about your spelling. <laughs> <laughs> I do get worrying. people pull me up at the stoplights and say, you made a mistake there, mate. <laughs> Inland Waterways. Oh, Inland Waterways Association. <laughs> but not all of us. Oh, they're wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Have you got that? that? That's, 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 um, we understood that there were going to be adults yeah. involved in it as well, so there are adult books and some navigation guides in case you lose your way down the Thames. Oh, that's very likely. We'll need that for tonight. You've come all the way from Manchester. Yes. Hot foot this morning. Hot foot. from the local school have sent round their beautiful boaty pictures. So what we're going to do is try and work out which ones to put where.
I've done some work with handicapped children on, on, on boats, on narrow boats, on the canals, and it, the effect it has on people is absolutely fantastic. Okay, go hard. The weather's going to be kind to us, I This is our skipper for tonight. Yes, yes. I'm a Royal Wardman and a Queen. So have you got the hat and the, uh, the kit? I've, I'm changing your uniform for you when you're ready. The dinghy for you. What do you mean? Where's the dinghy for the project? Just like that? Just like that. Just... For you and some clothing and ropes. Just lurking like that? Just lurking in the pit. I heard about the project and I think you might like to have it. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much indeed. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you. Fire extinguishers for you, for fire oh, OK. Oh, you're brilliant. That's Thank OK. That's a pleasure. Indeed. Lovely. Now, remember the Port of London Authority said they provide two escorts to take us downriver to Richmond. Well, there they are, I presume, the Richmond. And there's one over there. It's like the Chelsea. Hello there! Oh, it's just so wonderful. I can't believe it. That's a real home, isn't yeah, it? it really is. I just want to say you are without doubt, without doubt, certainly the best boat restoration team in the history of mankind. Thank you so much for giving up all your time over the last three days. What you've done is just incredible. I hope you agree it's been a terrific project to work on, and I hope none of you actually regret listening to John Dunn on Tuesday night, you see. Didn't realise it would have quite such a lethal effect on your lives, but thank you all so, so much, and I hope now you'll join us all in taking the barge up to Richmond, or is it down to Richmond? Yeah. Yeah. Down. down to yeah. Richmond for the final giving over of the boat to the people of London who are actually going to be using it. And I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> what, how do you say it? Um, I'm delighted to say it gives me great pleasure to name this ship, what's it called? The Richmond Venturer. Hold up. Steve, I think because you've done this amazing kitchen. John the Brush, can you be trusted with this? Yeah. 
And I have great pleasure now in asking Class P of College School, where are you all, Class P? I want to ask you to accept the Richmond Venturer on behalf of all the people in London. Will you do that for me? It's beginning yeah. for people like you all over London. Now, the last part of the challenge says, ensure the ceremony goes with a bang. So let's hear that bang. <laughs> Have a challenge for Annika? Write to Challenge Annika, London W1A 3AR. That's Challenge Annika, London W1A 3AR.